how to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 using Windows 11 installation assistant. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and navigate to the following URL address, https colon slash slash www.microsoft.com slash en dash us slash software dash download slash windows 11 once you're here guys you'll be on the download windows 11 web page as you can see guys microsoft says there are three options below for installing or creating windows 11 media check out each to determine the best option for you for today's video guys I'm going to be going with the Windows 11 installation assistant. You also have two other options. You can create a Windows 11 installation media or download Windows 11 disk image ISO. Because we want to upgrade the device that we're currently on, the Windows 11 installation assistant would be the best option for us to download and install Windows 11 for our upgrade. Under where it says Windows 11 installation assistant, look for where it says download now. Now before you click on the download now button guys, make sure to check your computer's compatibility to run Windows 11. I'll put a link in the video description below to one of my videos that will show you how to do just that. I'll also include a card at the top right hand corner of this video that you can click on that will also take you to that video. Once you've checked if your computer meets the compatibility requirements to run Windows 11, left click on download now. You'll then be prompted with a window to pick a save location for the Windows 11 installation assistant. As you can see guys, I'm in the downloads folder here and that's where I'm going to be downloading the installation assistant to. I'm going to leave the file name and save as type as they are and simply left click on save. The Windows 11 installation assistant will then be downloaded. Navigate to the bottom left hand corner of your browser, left click on the arrow and left click on open. You'll then be greeted with the user account control asking you do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You have two options yes or no. Left click on yes as we want to upgrade to Windows 11. The Windows 11 installation assistant will then open. Install Windows 11. Good news this PC meets the minimum system requirements to install Windows 11. Please note system requirements to enjoy some Windows 11 features and run some apps may exceed the Windows 11 minimum system requirements. Some Windows 10 features aren't available in Windows 11. For more info, see device specifications, and you can click on this hyperlink text to see those device specifications, if you want. To install, you must accept the license terms below. Read through the license terms in your own time, guys, and once you've read through it, you can left-click on Decline if you do not want to proceed with the installation of Windows 11, or you can left-click on Accept and Install, which is what I'm going to be doing, as I want to install Windows 11. Simply left-click on Accept and Install to begin the installation process. As you can see, guys, at the very top here, the Windows 11 installation assistant says, Step 1 of 3, downloading. It's fine to keep using your PC and below you can see the percent complete and I'll be back with you guys once this reaches 100% and we're on step two out of three. All right guys I'm back and as you can see we're on step two out of three verifying download. We are getting things ready for you and underneath you can see the percent complete once again and I'll be back with you guys once this reaches 100% and we're on step three out of three. All right guys I'm back again and as you can see we're on step three out of three installing. It's okay to keep using your PC, but we'll restart your PC 30 minutes after we reach 100% on this screen. So make sure to save your work frequently and underneath you have the percent completion. So keep that in mind guys, your PC will be restarted after 30 minutes once the installation has reached 100%. I'll be back with you guys once the percentage has reached 100%. All right guys, I'm back. The installation reached 100%. And as you can see, the Windows 11 installation assistant now says your PC needs to restart to install Windows 11. Please save your work, plug in your PC and leave it turned on. If you choose to restart later, will automatically restart when you are not using your PC. And as you can see, it says restarting in 24 minutes. So you can restart later or you can restart now. I'm going to be restarting now, guys. So I'll be back with you once Windows 11 has been installed and I'm back on my desktop for my brand new Windows 11 operating system. All right, I'll see you in a bit, guys. I'm going to click on restart now. All right, guys, I'm back on my desktop. And as you can see, Windows 11 has now been installed. And that pretty much concludes the video, guys, on how to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 using Windows 11 Installation Assistant. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so